Hey, there, hackers. Oh crap, what is this idiot up to now? Hey, wait a minute, stop talking about me at- wait a minute, I'm the editor. Oh my gosh, I think I hate myself. Now, a lot of people will think that hacking are those, you know, evil bad guys with the neck beards the size of, my goodness, I wish I had one like that. But, I don't. But a lot of people think that hacking is just a bunch of these net beards sitting behind a computer, you know, typing away at buttons, causing nuclear codes and stuff like that to happen. Really bad people, you know, like from Saudi Arabia or China or Russia, at least if you're in the United States. I mean, on theirs would probably be the, you know, the Americans. Whatever. Hacking is not about that. In fact, that's called cracking. And so you're a cracker if you do that. Yes, racial pun intended, you filthy crack. Hacking is just basically taking things outside of the context that they're supposed to be to make them work out and to make them work halfway well, i.e. these gloves. I'm doing this because of winter itch. One thing is, uh, let's say that you want to collect fluid of some kind. Maybe you, uh, have someone that's kind of invalid temporarily and you, uh, have to do a back order for something like, say, a catheter of some kind. Anyway, a lot of these are made to be kind of like just, you know, temporary to dis temporarily disposable. I wanted to create something that's a little bit better, a little bit more modular, because I just don't like the way that a lot of these things are built. And plus, I'm waiting on back order and stuff like this, having to order it online anyway. So for a temporary solution, I can make one like this. For under $50, you can create your own water collection thing. And the great thing about it is that it does not just have to be used for catheters. You can use it for weather, rainwater measurements, and stuff like that. And you could be able to, like, for instance, hook it up to a sensor on a Raspberry Pi that, you know, uh, collects water information. You know, really great for different little weather experiments and things like that, science experiments inside of a lab, or if you're just plain weird. Like me. Or, if you, or, or, for instance, you might have a dog, you know, and people are like, well, no, that thing I don't want to eat at my table. That's fine. You just kind of have this thing here. And you just kind of, you know, uh, just hide it, connect it a little bit to the bottom of the table with some tape, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, when no one's looking, you just kind of, like, dump a little bit of the soda or whatever you want to feed the dog. I don't know how to feed a dog and stuff like that. Anyway, don't take this as medical advice. So what are the ingredients that we need for this recipe? And this stuff you can buy at Walmart, uh, although I would recommend places like Lowe's and Home Depot, but if you're really on a budget and really time constrained and you don't have that stuff and it's the middle of the night because, you know, well, anyway, first thing you're going to need is, you know, some kind of funnel thing, you know, I mean, you're going to be sticking something in the funnel and it's going to be, Pss! this is not medical advice. This is a chef's hat. This is a recipe, not a health channel. You have the funnel. Tubing, like you would use, uh, you know, I mean, and this is why I recommend going to Lowe's and stuff like that. They have better options available. This is what you would use for your ice maker, humidifier, and stuff like that in a refrigerator. Uh, this happens to just be the perfect size, actually, to just be able to pop it into the little funnel. So that was great. Um, but then, you know, unfortunately, I was wanting something that would go around it, but there was nothing, you know, big enough to go around, because I would recommend that, especially if you're collecting liquids, it would make more sense for it to go around the outside. That way, you know, it just trickles down and stuff, and then goes to wherever you need it to go. But you can buy this. Silicon! This is what I'm using to seal with this, because the thing goes in through here, instead of this going in through that, and it will make sense to put silicon in there, and then just use that as kind of like a watertight seal. Uh, I would recommend advanced, 100% waterproof silicon, you know, because you're going to be dealing with liquids, and you don't want those liquids spilling everywhere, especially on your valuable electronics. And then, of course, you have your loud and proud water, not water substitute, but water bottles. And then finally, you need some tools like scissors, you know, to cut the little tubing, and then, you know, like a little thing to do, like a drill, or like a screwdriver, or these things, you know, a wine bottle cork opener thingamajibber. I just took this part and I just stabbed it through and I just kind of did it in circles like this until I got a hole big enough to stick the tubing through. Oh, yeah, and uh, you also have super glue. I like this kind because you can reseal it and uh, like half a year to a year later, it's not going to be hardened and you just kind of squeeze it out through the sides here. Fantastic. Let's see the cooking. All you need to do, take that thing, wiggle diggle a little hole into it, shove the tubing in there. Now this tubing might be very curly with how you buy it. The best way to handle tubing that is like this and a pain in the butt, you hold it in front of a heat source. Uh, not too close. 
because that could cause problems unless you want to melt the plastic for some reason you devious little hacker you what you will do is you will basically uh, take it and I took it to put it through like this so that way it just goes right into the bottle as you can see this part right here normally this is why I wanted it to be bigger it just goes around the little nipple thingy on this but instead I just stick it right in as if it was a catheter for the funnel and the funnel winces in pain and as it winces in pain you can look and you can see it like this. And you're like, okay, well, this little wiggly thing, that's a problem. Now, this is where you can use the super glue if you want to kind of just uh, automatically kind of seal it up like that. Although I would prefer to instead stick this through to where it's, you know, out a little bit. Dump a good amount of silicon. Have some tape on here to make sure that the silicon doesn't leak out uh, after you get it to a certain point. And just kind of pull it down. Pull it down, pull it down until it looks about right to where it will suck stuff in without the silicon getting in there. And then you just basically hold it, let it dry, put it in vice grips and something like that. And then there you go. You have like a condom catheter that you can then be able to use. Get some tape, put it around, whatever you need to put it around. So there you go. You have a do-it-yourself for pretty much $50 and maybe an hour or so of time. And then you have something that you can really use. Great thing about using this as a catheter. Again, this is not medical advice. See the chef's hat. There are no scrubs on me. These gloves are not for medical reasons other than my winter's itch. And the great thing about this is that, you know, water bottle, right? Common water bottle you buy at the store. Assuming that the silicon is in on this end too and stuff or super glue that it's held together real well. All you have to do is this. Well, preferably like this if it's full of liquid. But you just do this. Okay. Then you take this, and then you stick it in a new water bottle. Oh, and then you take the lid from the new water bottle and put it on the old water bottle, and then you can be able to throw it away, or preferably clean it and stuff like that. This is a more sustainable way to reuse these water bottles and stuff like this, although you have to make more purchases and possibly kill more trees and poor little sea turtles in the process. But you get the point, is that you can at least reuse a water bottle out of this. Thanks for watching. Go out there and start collecting fluids with this. Or you can be able to connect it to sensors on your Raspberry Pi and then monitor those fluids if you want to as well. Again, not medical advice whatsoever. Thanks for watching. And Hattie Hacking! I have winter itch and it gets really bad, okay? I have to put in, like, lotion and then put this on. And it really helps actually keep the hands, you know, nice and moist and keeps them from, you know, like, breaking up into bloody oblivion! Good video game, by the way.